So, got her pointer right here. I, I don't know either of you guys. Can you clip this on your shirt? It's anywhere there, it's fine. <laughs> All right, are you both uh, Filipino? I am, yeah. All right, cool. I'm, I'm gonna go there for a wedding next year. It's gonna be fun times. Um, can you start with your name? Grace. Uh, first of all, you guys are both on Instagram? Yeah. Can I tag you guys and post it? Yeah. Is that all right? Okay. So for the intros, can you see your name, Instagram, and where you're from? Okay. I'm Grace, and my, like, the username, my username's A, it's G-R-A dot C. -E. All right. My name is Sarah. You can find me uh, at Sermadaf, and I'm from Canada, born, born and raised in Calgary. Cool. So we got Grace and Sarah. Yeah. Is that, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So we're at the Ultra Right Collar Boston event. It's a charity event. So let's begin with what is the first, uh, what is your um, charity that you chose for this event? Uh, mine Grace. is the Canadian Cancer Society. I've been uh, trying to give to them since the very beginning of this event. Like, it's been like my go to charity. Just the Cancer Society to help them with the people with cancer. How about yourself? I am donating to the Calgary Humane Society because I recently adopted a cat and I would love to help more um, animals find homes. Mm -hmm. So for the Cancer Society, is there a motive for that? Uh, no, it's just kind of like, I just got inspired by the post and stuff about people with cancer. I'm like, oh, I want to help and just do like a charity fight for a good cause. And then the Canadian Cancer Society was the first one from the Ultra White Collar. From like last year, they did, they did it for the Canadian Cancer Society. So just from then on, I just started to donate for them. Mm -hmm. Just for a good cause. So that's the charity part. Yeah. Now, what was the motivation, the main motivation, fa motivating factor that made you join this event? Uh, this event, it's uh, not just for the charity, but it's for the experience, like the training part of it, just to showcase what you learn in eight weeks. So you train for eight weeks and then you get to showcase it in front of family, friends, and everyone. And it's just a cool feeling <laughs> to step in the ring, just to, you know. So in this cool feeling, right, while we're standing here, how do you feel? Are you nervous? Like, what's going through your head? Uh, well, this is my fourth fight, and it's, yeah, it still gets to me. Like, it's, it's, I still get nervous, but the more you do it, the more you get used to it. It's, just, it's for a good purpose. So it's your fourth fight. Is it Ultra White Collar Boxing yes. fourth fight? Yeah. All right. So this is your fourth one. Um, do you feel any less nervous? Um, You're still nervous, but are you, are you, are you no, no, more prepared? More prepared. Okay. Then I know what to expect. All right. So that being said, how many fights have you had? Zero. Zero. All right. <laughs> so going into this fight, you have someone with experience, someone without experience. Do you have any experience anywhere else? Fighting a brother, or sister, streets, <laughs> anything at all? No. Well, I did Taekwondo for a couple of years when I was a kid, so that I did a little bit of combat there, and then I've been taking Rumble classes here and there. Yeah, this whole AP training program has like made me want to find um, classes outside of practice to improve myself and the challenge. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so do you, do you guys like regularly work out outside of the um, event? Okay. Yeah. You're, you're, this is your fourth time, so I'm going to ask you afterwards. Okay. This is your, your, your fresh. Um, Sarah, so when you regularly work out versus the eight week training camp, what was the difference? When I regularly work, work out, um, when I regularly work, regularly work out, it's a lot more chill, it's all at my own pace. And when you're doing the eight week training program, they really push you, they really challenge you, they really make you um, get through like this mental, it's like a mental game that you have to fight. Mm -hmm. um, did you do any diet differences, anything like that? Sorry? Did you diet differently at all? Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely um, tried to manage my caloric intake and like, be more mindful of carbs and stuff that I was eating. Like, I was eating protein and stuff like that. Five minutes. Five minutes, okay. <laughs> all right, so we got five minutes. All right, five minute warning. Um, I'm going to change my questions down my head. 
Grace, um, this time, eight weeks, did you do anything different based on experience and things that you learned? Well, so here's what happened. <laughs> so I was originally signed up to train, so by the fourth training, I had to back out of it because I was not able to sell tickets. But then I think two weeks before today, like two weeks ago, I reached out to Mike and then I said that if you do need a backup fighter in case you have an uneven amount of girls or whatever, then I'd be more than happy to step in. So that's kind of how I got here. <laughs> so I kind of left and then came back. So I didn't go through the whole eight weeks. So I kind of missed out a lot. But I've been training outside of the training program, like yeah. Rumble. I go to Rumble too. Uh, Country Hills. Country Hills, okay, cool. All right, so I gotta make this quick. So in a minute, um, in a one minute summary, how do you think the fight's gonna go in your head based on fighting someone with four fights and you have zero? How do you think it's gonna go? I'm definitely trying to keep a positive mindset. Uh, I did see her last fight, so I'm trying to keep um, what I saw and just back of my mind and like try to you know, imagine scenarios to counter what she's got going on. What do you think Grace's strong suit is? Her, her strength as a fighter? Oh, her experience definitely. And the fact that she's a southpaw is going to throw me off. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, it says the girl that's going to fight you. So, so Grace, um, how do you think it's going to go in your head based on what you've learned in the past in the three, three fights? Uh, for me, like these kinds of types, like charity fights, you're, I'm not really out for blood and not to like kill my opponent. Like it's just to show off what you train and your skills and everything you learned in eight weeks and it's just technique kind of. Like yeah, you get a few bops in the head and whatnot, but it's not about like blood and you know. <laughs> so it's just to show your technique and what you've learned. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, unfortunately, I'm out of time. Thank you for your time. I'm going to post it on Instagram and collaborate with you guys. That's okay? Yeah. All right. And I, I have my separate footage for the fight, too. So I'm going to cut some stuff in, do some highlights, and get it all out there. All right, guys? Yeah. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Looking forward to the fight. Thanks. I need those mics back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. Get some good ones. In the blue corner, spicy hands are on